Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back to continue the playthrough of Mr. Scoundsley the Scald, a hardcore BG1 adventure. <laughs> uh, so just a heads up, if I sound a little bit lower on this episode, it's because it's 4.30 a.m. I cannot sleep, so uh, Cordampini is sleeping though, so I'm not going to be talking very, very loud. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much of a problem here. Uh, we are just right now, um, we just finished entering Balger's Gate uh, after dealing with the Veyorn in the Cloakwood Mine. We are in the Sorcerer's Sundries and, and I'm just going to be yeah, purchasing right. some scrolls here that I think might be useful for right now on my bard. And the ones I want are going to be the Slow Spell and also the Dispel Magic Spells. Uh, there's a bunch of other spells here that I could take. Um, a lot of stuff that's also useful for, for, for later on. But for right now, these are the only two spells that I need. And I like picking up this spell magic on my main character here right now. Because by being a bard, he does level up faster than other classes. Which means the spell magic will be more effective than, let's say, on Baloth. So just pick up those two spells. That is perfect. And we are now also going for a, a quick battle up here. Where we are going to be facing a couple of mages. Now, since we're talking about fighting mages, we have, as usual, to respect the battle. Because you can very easily die if you don't respect enemy spellcasters, as we know in SCS. So we're going to be using some summons here to draw their attention, especially summons with high magic resistance. Buff up, as normal. We are going to what have ourselves some shields. Some mirror images. Uh, recitation. Really? No now, what I will want bottom. is a haste. I don't want to talk. And oh, once he that? starts casting a haste, we're gonna go for a bless as well. And the idea here, as normal, is to use Mr. Kagan and the summons to draw the attention of the enemies while we are nuking from behind. I will leave my party here at the start, so that if they try to cast some spells, they may throw them only at my front line and not my back line. Go and then we can else. start moving in. Okay, so we have our skeletons here, we have sure. Mr. Kagan. Let's maybe also just move up a little bit so we can <laughs> move <laughs> more freely and not get why. stuck behind these pillars, maybe. With my usual panache, yes. I assume. Great peril yields great beauty. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, fighting time. Sing, my friend. <laughs> Mr. Skeleton, go in. Mr. Skeleton, go in. Pagan, kind of just walk right. around. <laughs> okay. So, their debuffs are up. They're already casting some nasty stuff with Pagan, which we don't appreciate. Let's see what they have. This guy has a minor globe, protection from normal missiles, shield, spirit, armor, stone skin, so annoying to kill. These two guys don't have a minor globe, which can be interesting. I don't want to And talk. I'm already going to start moving uh, Kagan over here because two spells are coming his way. If I can avoid my skeletons from being affected as well, right. I will do so. Eh? What do you want? Okay, so since they don't have minor... I'm gonna wait for the buffs on this guy first. Okay, he just wand it over there. On himself. Doesn't sound very smart. Ah, okay. There are his buffs, minor wolf vulnerability. I think they interrupted their spell casting, didn't they? By using that wand. Yeah, spell casting failure, nice. Alright, so no, let's actually heal up here. And what are we going Is to do? Is there really no one else you can bother? 
I can try and toss a dispel magic on top of them, but I don't think it's gonna work. So honestly, let's see how badly we can injure these guys from afar by using our magical arrows to go through the protection from magic missiles. Uh, to go through the protection um, from normal missiles, not magic missiles, sorry. So you two can come over here. Uh, why aren't you singing? Sing. Vicky is fine. Kagan. Let's, let's get in there and start bashing them as well. This guy kind of isolated himself. He doesn't have stone skin. No, he does have stone skin. But he does not have mirror images, which means we are going to be able to land hits. And we have magical damage on our arrows, which means damage goes through, which is what we want here. Why are you going that way? What you cutting, friend? There is a remove magic on Chartil. Annoying. Let's move her out of the way. Okay, you guys are still fighting. I think we killed one. Yes, we did. Go for the next guy. Chartil actually did not get dispelled. I'll do it. Amazing. Okay, this bitch is coming in. Let's have someone else. They lost. Or actually, my bard work on him. I'm gonna dispel him. Chromatic Orb on Koran, that's not good. Wherever Move back. Takes me. Okay, that wasn't anything special. We Go killed another one. Let's move think? in once more. He is dispelled. That Let's is move back. Bailoth can you? move in. We're gonna try and spook the guy. Or just straight up kill him. And this guy has minor spell deflection, so we can't actually target him with spells, but our skeletons and our archers you must be loving more than enough for this. I am going to back up this bottom though. And he should die right now. This bitch really had a, a spell sequencer with horrors? Yes, he did. Well, let's dispel this fear with Pythonia. I tried, <laughs> but Pagan is running way too fast. And that is but yeah, so the MVPs on this fight, as we could see, were our skeletons. With their magic resistance and with the damage they are able to deal, Bolsa. they are quite efficient uh, mage killers, honestly. Okay, let's do this with again. He is okay. We're just gonna wait for, for Kagan to stop running around. And that is perfect. Okay. <clears throat> and what do we have here? We have some very useful stuff already. Particularly in the form of a cool spell we can learn. A wand of fire. Very, very important. And I think I will want this, like... Oh, she cannot use it right. Um, here, probably. Okay. Potion of Invisibility is always good. Dagger plus one is always nice to have as well. Some more healing, some more potions, some stuff to sell. This is a Cursed Ring. I think this sells for basically nothing, <laughs> but I will try and see. Okay, that's all. Okay, again, come on, man. There we go. I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Is in order. So yes. we are going to sell this stuff we picked up. Yeah, 25 gold doesn't really matter all that much. Um, I think I've already sold everything else that I had. Yep, okay. 
So we are going to go back to normal arrows. Might as well also purchase some arrows because they are kind of running low. Taste for sleeping in a dog pile with you rivel. Find Do you even in. sell normal arrows? He does not. Magical. <laughs> yep, no normal arrows. Okay. And that is perfect. Okay, that. so let's start exploring here. Rest. <clears throat> Might as well swap my spell already. On level 3, I will prefer the slow. I could do that. Even the most prolific <clears throat> and we're gonna go into the Thieves Guild. Take some time to rest. I know the password, it is Fafert. <laughs> I could do that. And we are going to come over here. We're gonna be picking up a quest. And that is perfect. From the guild leader. Welcome, my little friends. Please relax and keep your weapons at your sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have our quest. I could do that. So eyes and daggers drawn with him. This guy also wants to give me a quest, but this is not something we're going to be doing. Hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Now, what I want yes, to do here is we're going to come over here. I don't think there's anything trapped. But we do want this container because it has a very nice item for us. Can I identify it? I can. A manual of quickness of action. This will raise my dexterity by one point permanently, which is very, very lovely. Oops. It will also put us at 20 dexterity with the item we're currently using. Uh, this, this, oops, this Eon stone here. And I also wonder if she has any kind of um, mm, smelling good. thief related equipment since we have rogue rebalancing. Yeah, darkest day you never seen before I Show me what you have, Black Lily. Ooh, a returning frost dart. That's actually very cool. But I don't have proficiency with that, unfortunately. A composite short bow plus two spark burst. Also, it's also a short bow, man. This is a very cool item. Arrows of the spelling, yep, yep. They might be playing a role later on. We have a cloak of protection that I don't need. Buckler plus two. I could give this to probably Vicky. Safeguard. Equipped abilities, bless. And also cast Sanctuary once per day. And three armor bonus. That's very nice. Ooh. Lyre of Progression. Held under the left arm, this instrument allows the bard to memorize two extra second level spells and an extra third level spell. I think I'm gonna pick this up. Although, Jesus Christ, it's very, very expensive. The Cowl of Acuity is very good but it's only for the thief sling of an airing accuracy plus one i can pick this one up it's it's kind of cheap and that's all man there's a bunch of stuff i want here but i think this is the more important one the liar the safeguard is really cool can you use it yes you can This is a lot of monies. A lot of monies, my friends. Yeah, but I think I want this. Okay, so this is considered like what? It's just something I have in my quick item slot, right? I would assume. Let's explore some of these items. No. Oh, it 
Kran ähm. <lacht> really? So, this would not give me access to that. Right. But this would. Yep. Okay. So what if I do this? I still have my shield up. Nice. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna be throwing daggers from here on out. Don't really see myself using the bow since I have this here. And the sling is gonna go for Vicky. You already have a plus one sling. Yes, he does. Okay. A lot of money spent. Let's hope it was well spent. I could do that. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> we picked up our dexterity manual. We picked up the quest from the Thieves Guild. I could do that. We are going to be coming over here. <laughs> and now where do we go? We can go into Elf Song Tavern. We can pick up another quest there. <laughs> Lovely cinematics. I do enjoy this this style of cinematic and this style of graphics in general. It's very very cool. I prefer it a lot to the enhanced edition um, quote unquote cinematics. What you want? What you want? I could do that. We have a quest to be picked up over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And we accept the quest. And since we picked up this new item, I will be memorizing some more spells here. And the question is, what do I want, right? I probably want one Detect Invisibility for Emergencies. I could take Cat's Grey. It's not really needed, though. I could increase Kagan's... Um, Dexterity. What's your dexterity? 17. I could also increase her dexterity. That's not bad. <laughs> My other choices would be taking another glitter dust or another web. I guess I might as well take this one to buff uh, Chartil or Kagan. And for level 3, I am taking a slow. I guess I can also try taking a Dispel Magic, see if it works out for me. Okay. Do I want to swap something for you? Honestly, I think I might as well just take another Animate Dead. I'm not using Holy Smite at all. So yeah, an Animate Dead is I very, very that. powerful. You want some whiskey? So, let's rest. And let's get going. Now, in that. this area, I think I don't need anything else. Yep. I will start teleporting around here because there's really nothing to be done along the way. So let's just keep this shorter. We are going to get poisoned. Could we have a moment by these fellas time? here? Okay, it's done. And... We are going to move back into this region. We shall teleport over here. And keep on exploring the areas of Valge's Gate. This one does have something relevant here. There is a fight... It's a very quick fight on this gate. Drops a really cool crossbow if you use crossbows. It's not really something that I end up using all that often. Uh, Kagan uses crossbows, but 
it's it's not very likely that I use Kagan to to actually shoot. But if you do want a crossbow, this guy drops a, a plus five crossbow. Okay, so where is he? Drop your weapons there he and perhaps is. Sing. I'll right. all be saying it twice. Mm hmm We want to fight, so let's fight him. I don't want to talk. Men are pathetic. Is there really no one else? I, I don't model. think a command is going to be doing anything here, but I can always try. It actually landed. Okay. <laughs> and he's dead. I could do that. So, this guy is cool because he has some some nice potions. And he has a plus one morning star, and here he has the guide plus two, which actually has a tackle bonus of plus five, and then a plus two to damage. So really cool crossbow. Again, I'm not really sure if we're ever going to be using it, but Go past someone else. it is a possibility. I could do that. Now we also want to come over here. And this is why I say that I usually do a lot of quests uh, like chained up in sequence because you can take care of a lot of quests Excuse just me. by Please walking around the areas. Before you attack. We're gonna give this guy a chance. We shall go to Diviner. This guy by the way also has some boots of speed. So if you can kill him quickly enough at a later point in the game, he you can actually get that. those boots as well, Knowledge which is very nice. Used wisely is the most powerful okay, so <clears throat> who has the ability to release Sultan of his geese? We have the answer. No, we can speak to my him. Life is in shambles. <laughs> That's done. We also want to come over here for the Thieves Guild quest. It's just a, a quick and easy quest to do. So mean? why not do it? We're gonna go into thievery mode. Luck be a lady. And what we really want in this place is to basically <clears throat> just get yourself Touch invisible, move in, match, and I that see. will allow you to do anything you want. So I am going to use my invisibility here. You can always just use hiding shadows from Corrin, but this is a guaranteed <laughs> invisibility, which is better. Life is in luck, be a lady. We send Corrin up. We want to go to great the last floor. Yields great beauty. We want to avoid fighting these ladies. Luck, be a lady. And the only thing we need here is to loot these, I think this container. Okay, no traps, right? Yep. So we pick up the money, we pick up these artifacts. And we try to go in this. Okay, lovely, first try. I kind of want to check these bookshelves as well. Nothing here, nothing here, okay. Let's try to go in this again. Failed. If I fail too many times, I'll just bring Bailoth up here and invis him again. But I have faith in you, Corrin, come on, don't disappoint me. Thank you. Let's go down before anybody sees us. Great peril yields great beauty. Great peril yields I great do that. beauty. Perfect. <laughs> Oops. And with that, I think we are cleared of this area. I do that. And I usually like to explore the entire map before I do anything I too do time that. consuming. We can also go into three old kegs. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm not exactly sure if this is what I want to be, but... 
or if this is the place I want, but I think it is. Or is it not? I think this might not be the place I want. We shall see very soon. I and again, no I could and should have just teleported you. over here. There's no real reason for me to walk all this way. And that is perfect. Yeah, and this is not the place I want. I could do that. Right? I could do that. Yeah, this is not the I place I that. want. I could do that. There is a quest you can do here. I could do that. Leave us alone, will you? Not I've no interest in speaking to the likes of you. I could do that. Actually, Leave us alone, okay. will you? Maybe I'll just Never show it as well. Here. Why not? Yeah, screw you, man. And I think what we want is That'll behind be this painting here. This will allow us to, like, free a guy from a curse, I believe. I don't think it's trapped. Yeah, it's not. And you pick up this skull, Skull of Keref. Don't usually do this quest, but... I can just show it here. Wherever fate takes me. <laughs> We're gonna leave. We are going to be picking up another quest. Um, right here. This guy actually has one of my favorite voice lines. Good eve on you and yours, my friend. Good eve on Why you and yours, my friend. I love it. Uh, what is your concern? Your terms are acceptable, I agree. So this guy wants us to steal a nymph from another mage's house. And get some nice rewards for doing so. But actually, the, the biggest reward here is to go up this tower, kill the guy, and take another tome that he has. Do I need to go to the Blushing Mermaid right perfect. now? I don't think so. Okay, let me, let me actually remind myself of what I'm doing here. I can find Lothander at the Blade and Stars Inn after I've learned how to remove his curse. And I can find this bitch over there. Okay, I think I remember what I want to do. <clears throat> so I want to go over here. We can just teleport all the way over here. <laughs> Explore this area. In this area... I want to go to the Helm and Cloak. And that is so again, perfect. let's just teleport. Move in. Great peril yields. There's great a fight beauty. you can have here, but there's no real reason for me to do so. Wait, this is not what I want. Luck be a lady. Great peril yields great beauty. Wait, am I confused? I might have just gone to the wrong place. Give me a second. Ah, this is what I want. Okay. Great peril yields great beauty. So this area holds one of the best items in the game. So naturally, we pick it up. Which is the Helm of Baldron. And it's also an item that gets carried over to Baldur's Gate 2. So very, very cool. Great peril yields, and yeah, if you great talk to these guys, you can actually start the fight here. It's kind of a cool fight, but don't want to do it right now. There we go. Helm of Baldron. Tackle plus one. Armor class plus one. Saving throws plus one. Hit points plus one. So, you know, what's not to like? Um, now, usually, since this has the bonus to armor class, I think this is something I would usually always give to my to my frontliner here, Kagan. He goes down to negative 8 AC, <laughs> and also an improvement on Taco, saving throws and whatnot. And the real choice here is between, do you want to give the Taco bonus to someone like Corrin or Chartil, which is a valuable thing to have, or if you just want to make your frontline a little bit tankier. Kagan does decent damage, 
so having more AC, more saving throws, more tackle is also a benefit for him. This one I guess can go for K uh, for Corn, sorry. Just giving him extra saving throws and resistances. It's actually not bad to have this on Corn because since his HP is kind of low, if he takes a fireball to the face, it's a much better chance that you will actually survive. I could do that. So yeah, let's take this. And that's basically all I wanted from that here. Is perfect. We will go into this area. Is it night time? It, it's that almost night time. We shall speak to a child here. Hello, but, child. But please, might I have your ear a moment? Okay, lead on, young one. I will follow. We will be going to his home. There is nothing I can do. But I must do okay, something. We will learn of another risk. quest. And risk is everything. I will help as best I can. That is perfect. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, I don't think it's I love money. quite yes, night time yet. Uh, you love money, uh huh, sure. I want to see if the Hall of Wonders is kind of unguarded at this hour. I don't think it is. I think I need to wait some more, but we'll see. Yeah, it's still heavily guarded, so we're not going to be going here perfect. yet. We can go over here, though, to Ragefast's home. This is the home of the wizard that has the other, um, the nymph that the other wizard needs. So I will take care of this guy. I don't think I want to have my party invisible though. Life is adventure or nothing. I mean at least not I uh, at least not Kagan. Right. Okay, he's now visible because I, I want to have the mage focus yes. on Kagan, not on Corrin. I think I might need to actually lockpick this door. Luck yep. be a lady. Okay. So being a wizard, <laughs> as we know, we're gonna be careful. I want a shield. What are you? Shield. Let's also go in with some mirror images. Uh, protection from evil. Okay, let's get a recitation going. And you guys are going to equip magical arrows. Actually, maybe use these, yeah. Is there really no one else? We're also gonna get a haste. Just taking this off for a second. Okay, everybody's hasted. I could do that. Sing. We got the song buff. Let's that go. That is in. perfect. Destiny or no, I'm not long for this place. Okay, we're gonna kill this guy. Go pester someone so else. move in, you two, shoot. I am going to spread them out a little bit in Bright case singer. something Give happens. Power. So Viconia can May come over dark. here, Bailoff can go over right. there. But not because you and let's see what he tries to do. And then we will act accordingly. Or or that can happen. <laughs> he, he just dies before he gets his buffs up. I could do that. This isn't usually something that I like doing. I usually like to wait uh, for the buffs to go up. But, oh well, just didn't happen here. Uh, you should have this on. And you should also have one. Okay. And we also picked up the protector. Armor class plus one, saving throws plus one. This does not stack with something like the Ring of the Princess. But we can give it to someone else. Like, for example, Chartil. Okay. Yes. Wherever fate takes me. Don't think there's anything of interest here. 
And the reason why I like killing this guy is mostly for the Wand of Paralyzation, but I think you don't actually need to do it. And we are going to free the Nymph. I don't actually want to deliver her to, to Ramazeth. She gives us a Nymph Cloak, which gives us a plus two to Charisma and also an ability to charm a creature. I can put it on, because, oops, sorry, not on me. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter who this goes to. I guess he can take it, be a little bit more charismatic. That is perfect. Okay, so this is done, we can leave. And I'm perfect. gonna once again check, but I don't believe that the Wall of, Hund the Wall of Wonders is is good for me to steal from right now. Yeah. And that is perfect. <laughs> so, where do I want to go? I want to go south. And for that, we have to go to a different area, which sucks. Uh, like here, maybe. From here, we can go south. <laughs> So here we have the Iron Throne headquarters, which we don't want to go to as of yet. But we also have... is it here? It might be here. That we have the quest for that skull. Nope, not here. That is <laughs> this one? Or I think it's this one actually. Hmm. People. <laughs> also not here. That is perfect. God damn it. Is it is it just not any of these warehouses? Shield. Wait, now I'm curious. No, Kref. Okay. What is your bidding? Great peril yields great uh, beauty. Put this on. And that is perfect. Fools to cross my path. I don't remember this. Huh. Okay. We can help you, lady. You just murdered the entire family. That's also not good. Can't help. She's been away from water too long. She's dying. Blah, blah, blah. Probably we're gonna aggro her by doing this, but whatever. Yeah, okay, she's not very happy about it. Let's just sing and try that. to stay clear of her, and Kagan can tank. You guys go back to normal arrows. Okay. Magic missiles. What do you want? Ooh, wait a minute. This bitch has spells. What is she even casting? Let's do that. get out. She also got out. Interesting. Okay. Uh, where is my... Oh, I'm over here, so I'm fine. Okay. This works for me. do that. <laughs> That is perfect. Is in great peril yeah, I don't usually come into beauty. these houses, so I didn't even remember she was here. And I certainly didn't remember she had capabilities uh, for arcane spellcasting. Now I know. Okay, let's I could do that. Carry on. I could do that. 
And it's always in the last place you look, isn't it? <laughs> yep, this guy here. He's kind of like a zombie. I have nothing to value. Please, Let us cure you of your affliction. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, so here we go. The only way to cure this sickness is to right the wrongs of the past. Behind the painting on the three old cranks, you will find the skull of my brother, Keref, which we have. Take it to Agnesia in the ladies' hall. She will know what to do with it. I, do I don't that. even know where this ladies' hall is. I don't think it's the Water Queen. I also like to stop by here. Not that I think it's a particularly safe move to do this, but <clears throat> there are some very decent items in here. Let me just check. Uh, I have protection from evil. I might want to that rest before perfect. doing this. It might not be necessary. Okay, let's see if I, if I don't mess this up. What I want to do is, there are some enemies over there. Um, that have some very nice loot, but they are also incredibly dangerous because they're, one of them is a thief and thieves can backstab and backstabs with double damage are deadly, as we know. So what I usually do here is I summon a bunch of skeletons to take their attention. Okay. Oh, and also, one of them is a, a spellcaster as well. So we always have to be careful. One thing that I don't actually know, because I'm not actually used to playing with the bard, is does singing break invisibility? Uh, uh, uh. Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so we have our three skeletons here. Uh, I guess I can buff us with Bless. No real reason not to do so. And what I will want is I will want to cast Haste to have my skeletons be extra strong and then basically make my party safe. Uh, at most, I think I can send Kagan in to take the brunt of the damage. So let's do this. We will haste our party. I need an L. Okay. Night singer. We will get a power. bless. That's someone you must be. And we will also make ourselves invisible. That is perfect. Okay. Perfect. So we will stand in the back and my I character just stopped talk. singing so i'm getting the feeling that it does break stealth I love so bloodshed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all what you guys you? can come back here just make Shall sure you are out mind. of line of sight from the thief <laughs> and we are going to be using the skeletons <laughs> plus kagan to me? deal with this with these enemies here and these are the ones I'm talking about. These two crazy bitches. <laughs> this one is the dangerous one. There's red. I mean, they're both dangerous, but this one is particularly dangerous. So I'm going to reveal my skeletons, I hopefully. <laughs> if I can. I actually can't. Awesome. Right. But they will be revealed soon enough. Go, Pester. Let's talk to her. Me? Your life means nothing. She's going to say some crazy stuff because she's a psycho. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. I need so let's L. actually see what she says. Your life means nothing to me. Your life means nothing to me. Okay. Your end shall be quick if you let it. Your end shall be quick if you <laughs> let it. I, don't I like talk. it. So yeah, we're gonna be focusing on this bitch first because she can go into stealth and kill everybody, which is bad. Okay. Kagan does have a lot of AC. 
which means he has better chances of surviving, you know, a backstab if that comes to happen. Like now, she went invisible. That's someone else. You what I can one. try doing is bringing Bailoth in man, here and try to dispel this invisibility before she can actually backstab me. I need it. And for that, we can move around Kagan a bit. Try to make sh okay. Well, she did have a chance to attack, but she missed. Thank God. So you can go back again. With my usual She's dead. Now this one should be quite easy. And dead as well. Okay. Let's see if this actually works or not. If I sing. Oh, it does not break stealth. Okay, nice. Good to know. It's kind of tough to imagine an invisible bar just singing <laughs> and nobody noticing him. Night singer. But I'll take it. Power. Now, the reason why I like coming here is because they dropped a bunch of valuable stuff. But more importantly than any of that, well, we have first of all a wand of fire, which is very, very good. As we know, they can also be very useful for um, Siege of Dragon Spear. <laughs> but they drop these gloves here, the hands of Takok. These give you, uh, or the person equipping them, a strength score of 1800. And this 00, by the way, means 100. It is the best score, the best strength score you can get in the game, besides having a tome of, of um, strength rise your strength up to 19. So what I usually end up doing is I could give this to Kagan for example and you can see here that his damage would go up a lot, his tackle would go up a lot, uh, but he would also lose four points of AC which is what I consider to be the most important stat for him. So I like giving them to Viconia because now this means that you can actually hit a lot harder with a melee weapon and she can also use better shields. Right now I don't have one, but if we pick up like a large shield, she can now use it. Which is, you know, useful. You should have had this on. I forgot. But it's mostly fine. And that is perfect. Okay, so this area is done. We're gonna go out. Or actually we're gonna go up. And I, I believe that. that we can rest here on this fella. Or is this not the innkeeper? What do you need? Uh, pa -pa -pa, pa -pa -pa, pa -pa -pa. No, it's not here. I think it's over here. Innkeeper? Yes. You want some whiskey? We can just rest. And now we can go out. And our next destination is going to be the Water Queen's house. We can just teleport over here as well. There's actually some gloves here, I believe, that can be turned in for a quest, or you can just use them. They just give you a Thacko bonus of plus one, which, you know, you can give to someone like Bailoth, for example, because n nobody else can really use them. They're not very important. It's just a... That is perfect. A little bonus there. Okay. So now we want to go over here. This lady is actually kind of crazy. But I don't think I need any particular uh, protections to do this. <laughs> the storm shall take those who are unfaithful. Okay, so for our purpose, you visit the bitch queen. We want to see the bitch queen. Okay, 50 the gold, donation. Uh, let me just oh, bring Kagan to the front sure. here. And you start singing. Yeah, she has to go all the way around. That's kind of silly, but me. it is what it is. Unless she gets lost. Woman, what are you doing? <laughs> what about... Does this work? This works. Okay. So, the reason why we're coming here is because she has the G scroll for the guy that poisoned us and she also has the body of a child that's for the, um, 
well, I'll show you soon. So what we want here... I wish nothing of you saved the body of the fool that tried to break into the, your hollowed halls. She wants 2,000 gold for the body of the child, and I will say no. She gets insulted, so we have to do what we usually do, which is murder the bitch. <laughs> God damn. Okay. The priestesses go hostile. Go pester someone. Murder them all. Watch your casting, bitch. Oh, nothing anymore. Really? Oh, person on Kagan. She actually held corn. Okay, it's fine. Interrupted. Awesome. Alright. Okay, so now we have to wait for Mr. Corn there to to get himself freed. And in the meantime, we can pick up the G's removal scroll. Some items here that don't really matter. Just for selling. And we can also pick up the body of the child. So it just says child's body. Shartil can take it. She's the one that can carry the most weight. Actually, that's a lie. The person who can now carry the most weight is probably Viconia. Yep, 400 pounds. So, by coming here, we've basically done two quests at the same time, by picking up the body and the G's removal scroll. And she would also inform us of the location of um, another Tome of Wisdom, which is in the city of Baldur's Gate. But since I already know where it is, I don't need her to tell me. Corrin, come on. There we go. Life is in luck, be a lady. And that is perfect. <laughs> okay, so we can start by going for the final area we have. Oh, actually, there are two areas we haven't explored. So, on this one, we will have a quest here in the Seven Suns, which is a very quick quest to do. Nothing special. Um. I will also want to go into the Flaming Fist Castle, but we can do this afterwards. I could do that. So right now, I want to come up here. I'm going to teleport. And that is into perfect. the child's um, house. So let's I speak to that. him. Or the father, I think. You roll your dice, yep. and you take your chances. Uh, or I have to talk to you him again. You roll your dice. And you take your chances. So he's trying to revive the child. He will be successful, thank God. You roll your dice and you take your chances. She's a wasted life at stake. Oh god, wait. I, I know that this was Ah. <coughs> okay, so I think now it's done and now we complete Please the quest help. here. A there you go. Life at stake. So 5,000 experience, 2,000 gold, and you also get a large shield, which is actually quite good. Shield of the Falling Stars plus one. Armor class plus two, and an extra plus five versus missile attacks. So, as an example, this would now be something that I could give Viconia, because she can now actually wield it, because of the strength uh, score. Does this even make a difference for... For Kagan, not really. So yeah, I do like giving this to her. Because this will make it so that she has an extra 5 AC versus missile attacks, which... I mean, do I really need it? it it's better to make sure she isn't interrupted in terms of spell casting. But I might just prefer to have Kagan extra safe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do this. And I can even give this one to her. Because this one gives no protection against missile attacks. Not that it makes much of a difference. I'll just take this then. We can drop this shield. 
Okay, so that quest done, item has that. been picked up. We This is the place that has the other wisdom scroll. But I will be coming here during night time at the same time that I go into the Wall of Wonders. Because I will want to use some potions of Tivri to pickpocket her. Because if I don't pickpocket her, the alternative is to murder her. And that usually means losing a lot of uh, reputation. <clears throat> Wait, I still haven't gone here? Teleport. I could do that. Oh, no, I haven't, yeah. So I do have to come here, into the Blade and Stars. Because this is where we are going to be finding the guy with the G's problem. And we also have the lady that wants the the, um, the <laughs> Sphine gem. Something you require? Mm -mm -mm. She's kind of crazy. Something you require? Wait, isn't this the one that, that wants the, the Sphine gem? Is yeah, it this mate. one? Yeah, mate. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you just get 1000 experience for free. So, why not? <laughs> okay, here he is. So, let's talk to the guy. Sure. Mr. Lothander. No, my life is in we have the cure. <laughs> And he's gonna give us the information about the antidote for our poison, because like I said, we were poisoned. He gives us the information and now he's gonna try and escape. So what I usually like to try and do, even though it's the, the chance of this actually working isn't that great, but I like to try and murder this guy, especially if a command lands, Is there really no one else because he has murder? those nice boots. Let's see. Unable to do so, that's fine. That is perfect. I can do that. I can do that. <clears throat> but we learned that the other guy is on the, um, the Mermaid Inn, I believe. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> I'll have to go there as well. Uh, this, no, not this one. Yeah, the Blushing Mermaid. So we have to go over here. And that is perfect. Here we have to fight this bitch here, Lars. He can actually be kind of tough. Right, singer. Because he hits power. extremely hard. All right. So Kagan move in. Sing. I don't want to talk. And you can kind of talk your way out of a fight here, but... Nah. Ba -ba. So we kill him. Just... Please sing. I, I prefer you singing. Catch someone else, you filthy I will swat. try to spook him. Olsa. Uh, because I don't think Hold Person works on him. He's not a humanoid. Not really much she can do here. Yeah, let's just do this. Spicy meat. Yeah, 40 crushing damage right there. Go past someone else. We can just kite. That's usually the... the. Why are you attacking? I said sing. Oh, no, 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 no. That is perfect. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh my god. Bailoth, please. My oh. panache, Don't you dare. <laughs> is there, you must be loving this. I could do that. Okay. Yeah, keep busy with... Not someone else, you filthy swine. With Kagan, please. He's near death already, just sing. Okay, okay. Got concerned there for a second. Because as you saw, he dealt 40 damage on on Kagan. So if he crits or he lands a, a lucky blow on, for example, Bailoth, he can one-shot. And that's not something that we want. He has another pair of those gloves that don't really matter, this just Taco plus one, nobody really needs it. A bunch of jewelry. That and we are going to have another mage fight up here. Hmm? Do I need to rest for it? 
No, I'm fine. <laughs> I hadn't noticed the time, but I'll still do this fight before I finish the episode. Here is Marek. He doesn't go hostile until you talk to him, so you have time to actually buff up and do whatever you need. Singer, give me power. So I will do exactly that. And this is, again, one of those situations where you don't really benefit from having your party members um, in line of sight of the mage. It just means you can get like a an offensive spell at your face that can kill you straight up. So I will just have my skeletons. I will probably also have Kagan and the rest of my party will steer clear. We're very likely to want to have magical arrows either as well. Okay, we have our skeletons. As to the usual buffing routine. And again, this could also be a situation where if you wanted to, you could you could avoid speaking to him to make him hostile and keep up and just attack him straight up. It would make things a lot easier, but I don't like doing that. We want your images, we want haste. Let's just take this off for the haste. Everybody is buffed. Perfect, get the ring back on. So, now what we want is, I want you to sing. I love bloodshed. Okay, he's singing. Man, Let's I get away is perfect. from our, our caster friend here. And let's engage in battle. I need all right. Stupid What's up, bitch? Traps. They'll never know what let's, let's wait for his buffs. Okay, there you go. He already has a minor sequencer of chromatic orbs on the skeleton warrior. Not a big issue. And what else does he have? He has armor, minor spell deflection, mirror image, and stone skin. Eh, okay. I don't actually have... I don't actually have a spell trust right now. But he does not have minor globe. That's important. I'm gonna see if I can land this, um, a slow without getting into his line of sight here. And again, yeah, he doesn't have protection from normal missiles. But yeah, let, let's not expose our backline to him yet. We just fight with Kagan and the skeletons. He saved against the slow, what a bitch. Just keep on singing, my friends. And I think my skeletons plus Kagan should be enough to, Is there really no to murder him. Okay, he went invisible. This is a 120 feet radius, so I think it should detect from over here. But I'm gonna move up a little bit. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Fine. Now we can go in with our archers. And there we go. Okay, but yeah. Let's, let's just see what he did here. Backstab quintuple damage. This could have been much higher, but Kagan just took 50 piercing damage on a single blow. This would have been a one-shot on Bailoth. It could have been a one-shot easily on Corrin. And even a permanent, um, a perma kill on any of the characters. I just okay, so we are going to be picking up some stuff here. We have a dagger plus two, which is quite cool. I can even equip it. Protector of the Dryads, a plus two short bow, very very cool. Don't really have anybody to use it right now. And we also have right here a. The Merex Potion of Antidote. We drink it. The quest is complete. And we get 10,000 experience. Quite nice, huh? I could do that. Okay, so we're gonna go down. We that are going to perfect. have an additional rest. Because why not? Hey, friend. 
Good to meet a fine sad such as yourself. And this will be a nice place to end our episode. Uh, good progress in Baldur's Gate. We have already completed a few quests. We picked up a few items. Um, we are on our way to finish this. Okay. So, my next objectives will likely be... Larceny at the Hall of Wonders, if I can get there during night time. I will want to complete the quest in the Thieves Guild, which will also involve a mage battle. I will want to go back to Beregost before I forget. <laughs> it's not very important, but I want to do it. And then we're going to go into the Seven Suns, and that will basically start up most of the, the important events in the game. So yeah, as always, thank you so much everyone for being here with me in the channel, watching some Baldur's Gate 1 in hardcore with our, our Scald main character. I hope you guys are enjoying the run. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. If you're enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. More videos coming up very, very soon. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone.